Hi, how are you doing? Um, so for this video I want to do um, some edge detection. I reckon this is fairly easy to do in C++ since there are already um, examples. But for Java it's kind of difficult because um, I, as far as I know uh, there are no uh, examples available. So uh, first I want to show you what it does, then I'm going to explain how, how it does it. So, um, well, in this case, I took a picture of myself. Um, uh, yeah, you look at that sexy arm. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose. So, this time it's superposed. So, I have a grayscale image and a corner image, right? So, um, in this uh, square, I have uh, canny, canny edge detection. And in this one, I have Laplace. Uh, this is the the size of the of the Laplacian kernel, and I don't really know what these guys are. That's why it's so is so um, useful to implement some uh, scroll bars because when there are, there is a, a parameter which you don't understand very well, you can um, empirically uh, I don't know if if the word is correct, but um, by experience to understand it. Uh, rather than using the theory. Okay, so, well, this is my main class. I just made a, a standard new project. This I already had, so I just changed what was inside it. Um, so here I, I just load a picture, and I make it grayscale, and I, know, and I make uh, two thread objects, which are constructed of this class iterator, which, implement, which implements runnable, and well, this one is Kenny, and this one is Laplacian. The third argument is the uh, displacement uh, on the x-axis, so that the image is done overlap. And well, I just started it. So let's take a look at iterator class. So I wanted to make a class that uh, you could create an instance of it, and it could be a, I don't know hue transform, Kenny, Laplacian, whatever. And and you could um, make slide bars to to understand how the parameters work and such. So I think this one does it pretty well. I just need to add the hue and, and other other uh, uh, options. So so um, this class uh, has source matrix, string type, uh, a J slider array and a uh, j frame array a number of how many arrays you want to make and the displacement so each time you create a new object the constructor assigns the type to this um, to this class sorry someone's on the phone that's why I get distracted and well I think this is uh, self-explanatory um, this says uh, source.clone if you want a different matrix. Fuck. My cell phone just fell on the floor because of the vibration. Okay. Damn. Hang on. Okay, so it's not broken. Um, okay, so. Easy. Uh, if you don't know what this does, uh, which I suppose you do, check out uh, Bucky Roberts' um, videos on threads. It's the best examples I have, I have found and he explains it uh, excellently I don't know uh, okay so in the run method uh, for each new uh, instance of the iterator class we make uh, a window which uh, I, I like this example uh, this uh, option because it allows me to close the window whenever I want and finish the program and the initial uh, position is going to be on the y origin and on the post x displacement okay so well uh, so far so good so we make a new matrix which i call the edges and here uh, i defined uh, the types i wanted right so if i want a hue hue transform uh, type i can just add another case and define I don't know how many arguments does the hue transform require, but you could easily assign it to it. 
so we initialize the arrays and okay so here we make our, our uh, sliders right so take a look at this code I think it's quite self-explanatory as well or maybe not uh, so well this uh, is initial value fin final maximum value minimum value final value and initial value of your uh, J slider you're gonna assign each of those to a frame a J frame object and well uh, this is just so they are uh, uh, 90 pixels in height and as wide as the source image so that it looks a bit ordered uh, and the position is so that they don't overlap uh, and they are slightly below the 30 pixels to be exact below the source image limit like this okay so uh, also this if type equals Laplacian uh, you set the first val uh, value of the J slider to be a maximum of 15 because well because of this uh, when you call it Laplacian you have uh, these, uh, these uh, parameters and this is the size of the kernel uh, where is it okay k size aperture aperture size used to compute the second derivative filters see blah 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 for details the size must be positive and not okay so it has to be a maximum of 31 that's I got it by crashing the program okay so okay etc uh, okay in the main uh, in the main loop I just added this while true um, if it's a canny edge you do a canny if it's a Laplacian you do a Laplacian and um, this is optional it's for superposing the images and well you show the image and you show the iteration and I, I found that useful because you can see when a certain algorithm is taking uh, longer to 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 compile or well no, to compute uh, you're gonna see it soon so uh, also this I, I found it useful I made this uh, small function I'm gonna show it uh, it's this if you wanna pause the, vo the video and copy it it basically just uh, adds the the value of the current uh, J slider. I didn't know how else to do it. If you know a, a better way, uh, please let me know. And okay, so thread sleep uh, 50 milliseconds. I found it to be enough. And I don't know what the hell this is doing. Oh, okay, I realized. Okay, all right. So let's take a look. Um, so let's say I want to to find this of another image. Um, I don't know, Lena. Why not? So Leva. Okay. All right. So there we go. So check out the iterations, and you're gonna see that one of them goes faster than the other uh, right now uh, Laplacian is going a lot faster because of the kernel size if I make this big Laplacian is gonna take way way more time than, than can and well you can do it for as many images as you want so let me take a show you an example and a smaller image like uh, I don't know this one. Mm, no, sorry, I'm taking a lot. Okay, this one is pretty small.
sorry 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 so let's do Okay, so I want to do the same, but with this image. And I don't really know where do they begin. That sucks. Okay. So let's just do one. Like this. So So there we go. Um we can have as many images as we want as we want they are on different different threads and well i think that's it i hope i was a bit more clear than on the past videos and good luck see you